Our text for this week is Jeremiah chapter 8, verses 18 through chapter 9, verse 1. You, who are my comforter in sorrow, my heart is faint within me. Listen to the cry of my people from a land far away. Is the Lord not in Zion? Is your king no longer there? Why have they aroused my anger with their images, with their worthless foreign idols? The harvest is past, the summer has ended, and we are not saved. Since my people are crushed, I am crushed. I mourn, and horror grips me. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is there no healing for the wound of my people? Oh, that my head were a spring of water and my eyes a fountain of tears. I would weep day and night for the slain of my people.
if you feel like you're in the same boat as the people of Judah who had through their own choices brought about upon themselves a desperate and desolate and seemingly hopeless situation if you identify with them then perhaps you will find comfort in the knowledge that they were waiting for the promised land that would only be realized when Jesus comes which is when our lives are turned around our way of thinking our behavior our attitudes our emotions all begin to move in a new direction it doesn't mean that we instantly become uh, Christ-like or uh, amazingly virtuous it just means that we turn in a new direction that now instead of walking away from God we're marching toward God as the old hymn said we're marching to Zion Um, and I like this old hymn that was written in response to the question that Jeremiah asks uh, whether there is a balm in Gilead and the hymn says there is a balm in Gilead to make the wounded whole there is a balm in Gilead to heal the sin sick soul sometimes I feel discouraged and think my works in vain but then the Holy Spirit revives my soul again there is a balm in Gilead to make the wounded whole there is a balm in Gilead to heal the sin sick soul if you can't preach like Peter if you can't pray like Paul go home and tell the people Jesus died to save us all I hope that you will not believe that your situation is hopeless my prayer is that you will turn to Jesus and let him turn you toward a full fruitful and abundant life don't give up hope no matter how deep a hole you've dug Jesus can pull you out there is a balm in Gilead Thank you.